Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about my computer build. I previously talked about my stream setup, which I'll link in the description. Um, but I frequently get asked on stream, what is, what are your specs? What are you, what are you packing? Uh, so let's jump into it and talk about that. So here is the same photo that I showed in my stream setup, uh, just to kind of, you know, give you some context. And this box in the back is my desktop, and this is what I use to stream. Uh, it powers all three of these monitors, as well as all these peripherals here. Um, but the stuff that you're probably more interested in is the specifications. And yes, I am running Windows, uh, so that's why you see Task Manager. I'm actually in a virtual machine here, which I guess I'll show you the virtual machine stats as well, uh, since that'll be relevant to how I size things. I did do a video about how I set up my virtual machine, so I will link that in the description, as well as the reason that I have Windows and um, Ubuntu. I will link that in the description as well. Uh, but yeah, I hook up eight gigs of RAM for my um, virtual machine, and I give it five um, virtual cores, I guess, because there are there are twelve virtual cores on my CPU, and I give it just under half of those. Um, so that is essentially the settings there. I also give it the maximum amount of video memory as possible. So for VirtualBox, that is one hundred and twenty-eight megabytes. Okay, but yes, let's talk about the actual. Um, pieces of hardware that are hooked up to my computer. So we'll start with the CPU first. This is an eighth generation i7. Um, so my computer was built in 2018. <laughs> Actually, um, the reason that I, I, I built it was I was streaming and my computer died while I was streaming. So I quickly ordered parts on Amazon. And so this was, I think, October of 2018 when I parted this. So some of the things are a bit dated. Uh, but I have um, i7. I have 64 gigs of RAM. This might seem like a lot, uh, but when I was building my machine, it was, you know, the trade-off between 32 gigs and 64 gigs was I think like a $20 difference between the two. And so I figured, why not? And it has been fairly useful. Like I run a lot of virtual machines. I have, you know, Chrome open. I might run Slack sometimes. Uh, and those, those Electron apps really chew up a lot of memory. Um, but I've, you know, I, I rarely go above you know, 30 or 40 gigs of usage, uh, but it is still useful because you know, I have a lot of a lot of slack here and um, things, you know, <laughs> a lot of available memory means I can run a lot more things. Uh, as for disks, I have a bunch of SSDs. I have two M2 drives. One is this one, which is a 500 gig M2 drive. This one, I don't remember. Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> I have two. I have two M2 drives, which are the, you know, the cards that you slot directly into the motherboard, which are fairly new and really, really fast. And then I have a few SSDs that are just the classical three and a half inch, um, three and a half inch, or is it two and a half inch? Whatever. The um, I guess two and a half inch. Uh, the yeah, the you know, classical SSDs that are hooked up like that. I used to have spinning media, but it was so loud and like I rarely used it. And SSDs are just so much faster. Oh, I guess these are the M2 drives. Or this is one of them. I don't know. <laughs> I have a bunch of a bunch of SSDs. Um, and then finally is the GPU. I have a 1080 Ti, and this has been useful both to play games, but also to encode video for YouTube and for streaming. But anyway, that is my computer setup. Uh, I think that covers all the parts that people would care about. Um, yeah, hopefully this was useful in clearing that up. And if you have additional questions, leave them below or ask me on stream and I will answer them in another video.